I'm going to finish up the tail and I'm using white uh, repair tape and you have an option uh, you want to make sure you round the corners and of course you can round the corners on the bottom or you can leave the corners square I'm going to do one of each just so that you can see that they in fact it will work either way um, in order to put on the tape what we're going to do is we're going to mark this and we're going to go from the outer edge of the uh, carbon outside edge here and we need to go about uh, 15 sixteenths from the outside edge and that should give us uh, about the center and so we're going to mark that on both uh, both sides Okay, and to put on the tape, I'm just going to peel it back, and then we'll put the tape underneath so it doesn't stick to the board. Radius side to the top. against the carbon here I can peel that off and go ahead and push this down and let it come around Just work it back around. And then we need to press it in. And here we're going to cut a piece about five and a half inches long. And then I want to cut this in half. The next step is to go ahead and mark a half inch from the edge of the carbon out and that's going to be the edge of the tape and the tape is going to go that way. If 
Okay, next I'm going to cut two pieces of Dacron tape and they're going to be cut about 22 inches long. And now I'm going to peel the tape and place it from the line going back that way. Then I'm also going to provide a piece of paper under here so that the tape does not stick to my board. And now I'm going to place it on the line that I marked. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and peel this up. Now we're going to mark this right on the back side here so that I know where to cut that. And then we're also going to cut this straight back or square with the front here. And remove the tape and press it down. Roughly, I leave these about a half inch long and just fold this over. To review what I did here is I marked a line a half inch back from the carbon edge and then I placed the tape on it and then press it all down and then come back and trimmed, folded the tape over and trimmed this edge here and squared off this corner here. I did the same thing here, folded it over, marked it, cut it so that it was at this edge and then squared it off here. And then on the back side, what I did was left this a half inch long here. I cut it off and then folded it back. And now you can see that I have not done a very good job of pressing this down. And so now what you do is you take your, your uh, piece of wood and you go back and you press down over all of the area of the tape so that you ensure that you get it down. And of course this being white, it's really easy to see where I missed. So it's a good idea after you're done Go ahead and go back over the whole area on the back side. And then that way you're sure to get it down and uh, pressed firmly against the uh, material and the tape, pressing everything together.
and that will ensure a good solid bond. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this line over onto the tape. So I'm just going to carry that line on over like that and carry this line here over like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut this part out. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is mark this back three-eighths of an inch. So I'm just going to go straight back three-eighths of an inch from the edge here back three-eighths. Three-eighths. And now I'm going to draw a line and take the line about an inch from the from this point here back about an inch. On my building board I have a crosshair and then on my crosshair I have marked a, a couple of large lines and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to center the wing on my crosshair with the leading edge being on one line and the center of the wing being on the other and then the other thing is on my crosshair I have marked a 6 and 9 sixteenths line so from from the center both ways I have a total length of 6 and 9 sixteenths so that's going to be my overall opening and so what I've done is marked it out and then that way I can transfer my marks rather quickly to the wing and what I'm going to do is just line it up so that I'm in the center here my leading edge is on the crosshair there and then I can go over and mark this right over my mark there so I have my 3 8 of an inch mark back and I have my gap or the notch size by transferring these marks from my building board to the material. So now I'm just going to cut on those lines. Okay, so now I'm going to cut me a piece of Dacron six and a half inches long. And then I'm going to take this and cut it into four pieces. Uh, so I'm going to be about a half inch wide. So now I'm going to cut this strip into four. So now I'm going to cut my strip into four equal pieces. Okay, and then I'm going to take my pieces and I'm going to move them up to where this point, which will be the outside point, goes beyond the line here. So that should leave me about three-eighths of an inch or so back here on the back. So it'll be about like that. Okay, we're going to start on the bottom side and I'm going to use a piece of uh, backing to lay on here and I'm going to peel this off and I'm going to run it right on this edge and then you can lay something down to keep your material laying flat so you can see I'm at the point here and it's just past the point there
So here you can see I finished both the top and the bottom. And you can see that the material does go at least to that line there. And then of course this folds over. You do the bottom side first, the top side finishes last. And then you're going to cut two pieces uh, an inch and a quarter long. And we're going to place those on and I'm going to match this edge of the material to this edge of the pocket here. And then we're going to press that down and then fold it around. And this is actually going to be folded around and then cut to match this edge here. So I'm going to lay it on here like that and pull it tight so that it goes right to the edge. And then I'm just going to lay a straight edge on here and mark it so that it's with this with this line here. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut it off on the line. And then remove the backing and press it in place. Make sure you press this down really well. And then we just need to cut this to match this line here. Like that. So now we're going to do this side the same way. Okay, and finally a tip for you before you finish this off you want to take a number two pencil and stick it in the opening and it should go in there just like that it should be a snug fit but you should be able to slide the number two pencil in if you can slide the number two pencil in then that means that your pockets are exactly the right size and to test it I'm going to take a rod and go ahead and stick in the opening and you can see that I'm able to slide the rod down all the way down up to this edge here so that's it on that side and now we'll do it on this side as well so slide the rod in and it goes all the way down and it goes up to there so my pockets are exactly the right size we'll do the wing tips First thing we need to do is close off because this here will eventually open if you do not close it. And we're going to close that off with a piece of material that we had left whenever we cut these pieces here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take that piece of, of material and lay it over right on the corner here and put half of it there and fold it around to the other side and now we'll mash this down on both sides and then I'll put the one on the other side and again we're going to just put it right on the edge up to the point and then fold it around like that. Mash it down on both sides. Okay, now we go ahead and do the tips. And we're going to do the tips. We're going to do the bottom side first. So I'm going to turn it up so that the bottom side is facing up. I'm, I've got my wingtip material. This is cut six inches long. And what we need to do first is go ahead and put it on the point, bring the point to where the carbon is, and then slide this up till this point meets this edge right here. So we're going to do that like that and there. All right, now we can mark. This is going to go here a mark, and then here a mark. 
That way we know where this piece goes down at. And now I'm going to put these in place. Now I want to cut this to the shape of my wingtip here. So I do not want to cut this piece of tape that I folded around there. So that finishes the tips on both sides. Okay, so now the next step is to go ahead and cut you a piece to go uh, on the back side here. And this is going to be seven inches long. And I'm actually going to let it step back about five eighths of an inch from the trailing edge here. So I've rounded the corners and I'm going to put this under here and it's going to finish off uh, in between this point and this point and again sticks set back about five eighths of an inch from this edge here so I have enough to fold over. So I'll take the wing here and take the wing here and now I'll make sure of where my piece is going to go which is going to be about right there. So I'm going to mark it. I'm going to mark it here and here so now I've marked those two corners so real quick I could put this back under and line up the corners on those corners and I know I'd have it in the right place and while I'm going to be lining it up I'll take something and stick under here and that's going to elevate this so that my wing does not touch it so if I peel this off and I lay it down now I can go ahead and manipulate this and line it up on those two points that I put on there. Uh, my two marks. And once I do that, then all I have to do is remove my pad or my stick. And now I have this where I needed it to be. So I can go ahead and mash this down. And now we can cut us another piece to go in here. So we're going to cut five and an eighth inches. And we're going to place this down here. 
and if we press this and then we press on this side now we can now we know where we got to cut this and then we'll take that and fold it under So now I need to locate one inch off the center where the backbone is going to go. So for this I'm just going to center uh, and then go over one inch from center and put a mark. And then the same thing back here, I'm going to center this and then go one inch. And then I'm just going to draw a line and you can get some idea of where that's going to go. So now I can take this and I'm going to line it up from here and let it go past. It's going to stick over here and that's exactly what we want. So we'll put this like this and we're going to go just like Now I'm ready to add the backbone, so I'm just going to peel this double-sided tape off of here. And I want to make sure that I have the backbone lined up, so the backbone is going to come back to the trailing edge here. And I'm going to use those lines as reference. And then I'm going to set the backbone in place. Just like that. And I have an 8 inch piece of tape. I'm going to lay right down over the tape that I had on the bottom. And then put it in place. Okay, to finish off the backbone installation, we're going to use two pieces of uh, Dacron tape that are three quarter inches wide. And what I want to do is I want to place those on here and then we're going to wrap them around. Now one thing that I did do is round the corners so each corner has been radiused. They don't have to be pretty, they just need to be round. That will help keep them from being lifted. So I'm going to put these on and uh, then I'm going to fold them around, but we want to make sure we get them on and press them down really, really firmly. So it's important for them to be pressed down tight. So we're going to start on the backbone and then use your, whatever you're using for a spatula to press the corner down. And then go ahead and press out the rest of it. And of course I'm going to put on the other one as well. And again, I'm going to put it right in a corner first. And then mash it down the rest of the way. And we'll flip it over. And bring these pieces of tape up and over. And again, bring that up and over. And then mash those down firmly. Okay, I'm going to give you a slow scan over the wing. So that you can see the finished results. Now the only thing left to do to the wing for this build is to go ahead and cut 
the tape out of the opening there. And then that would complete the build. The one thing I didn't show in the video is I took the X-Acto blade and I trimmed all of these. But that's a look at the wing. Now that's a look at the wing. Now here's a final look at the wing. Maybe you can pick up some maybe deep. Yeah. Here's a final look at the wing and tail. Maybe there's some details that uh, I didn't cover or that you might have questions about that a slow look might reveal for you. Or if you have any questions, you can certainly send me an email. I will get back to you and see if I can help you out. Now the one thing that I did do that I did not show in the video was regards to the uh, tape that went over the battens. I did cut this back before um, I finished it. I don't think I covered that in the video. It's just basically I just used the X-Acto blade and cut it right next to the batten. And you can see they were all trimmed. I believe I did show that uh, cutting them with the scissors on the tail. Either way works fine. Now the only bad thing about the white is that it shows any little dirt or debris, but there was a reason why this wing and tail here was done in white. And if I could have got some white Dacron tape, I would have used that as well. But uh, this wing and tail are not quite finished. But I will have a full review of uh, the finished wing and tail. A couple of pictures probably. Uh, so you can see the actual finish. Now let's look at the other side. This would be the bottom side. Quick look at the tail.